so Steve, the average time to an IPO for a tech company is now nine to 10 years. It's about that long for a privately held tech company uh, to, to sell. How are companies going about the challenge of, of accessing capital in that, that decade between formation and liquidity event? Yeah, I think, uh, David, that's put a lot of pressure on venture-backed companies. There's really two, at least two problems associated with that. One is if it takes 10 years, options are expiring oftentimes, and so that, that in, in and of itself creates a liquidity problem because the, uh, the option holder has to come up with cash, get taxed on it, and there's no, there's no way to get liquidity. So that's one problem. The other is that the, that length of time exceeds many venture capital fund life cycles. So now you've got a phenomena where the fund itself that needs to go out and raise money uh, ha has not yet gotten a return because in that, in that fund, the IPOs are taking nine or 10 years and the venture capitalists are raising money more frequently than that. So those, the, the, that's an example of the pressure that you refer to. And, uh, and we actually don't have a good solution um, uh, to that. I think that extension in the, uh, in the time to liquidity has created a gap in the capital markets, actually. And I think many of the, the things that you see going on in Congress and the activity at the SEC, including their Small Business Advisory Committee, is aimed at, at trying to ameliorate that to some degree and balance the investor protection mandate with the capital raising. So, so you see that the high-profile examples of Facebook, Zynga, LinkedIn, where various outside investors have acquired shares in those entities when they were privately held as not outliers, but in fact uh, dramatic examples of, of capital raising issues that, that other uh, smaller companies face perhaps even more acutely. Yeah, we're seeing that in our in our client base. Certainly, not only the the well known names, but uh, but even the lesser known companies as they get to years seven, eight, nine, ten, um, and uh, and some of those strains and stresses I mentioned kick in. Those issuers are trying to look also look is uh, look for alternatives, and uh, you know, is uh, is an alternative market the right place? Can I put together a liquidity program? Should we do an issuer buyback? Um, those are the, you know, those are some of the tools that the boards of directors assess. But I, I would say it's a pretty, the illiquidity problem certainly isn't limited to those high-profile companies that you, you mentioned.